Welcome oh, to the Exercise, Health, and Wellness Education Party. Yay! Oh. <laughs> we are finally here. I know. We're here at the Life Center Private Fitness Facility, and I know that some of you are saying, well, what is the Exercise, Health, and Wellness Education Party? Well, it's an amazing healthy event that gives you all of the information and resources that you need to live a long, healthy, and prosperous life. Amazing workouts from top fitness professionals, information from top doctors, nutritionists, herbologists, healthy chefs, everything, everything that you need. From eight to 12, we're gonna have a good time, okay? We're gonna start out with prayer. I'll see you later. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Clarence Langston. I am the Senior Apostle of Word and Action Christian Center International here in the great city of Detroit, Michigan. I am so honored to be here this morning with all of you and my wonderful, wonderful friend, Lizette. I'm always excited to be with Lizette. She keeps us all moving. She keeps us energized. She keeps ex uh, us excited about God and about our physical health. You know, all of us need to be mindful that God has given us a physical body. Uh, we possess a soul, which is our five senses, uh, but we are a spirit. And so today we are coming together for this wonderful exercise, health and wellness education party. We are here to enjoy life. We are here to take care of our health. We are here to physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually exercise the ability that God has given us to take care of ourselves. And so uh, I'm gonna open up with prayer, but I just wanna remind us that in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the word of God says, God knows the thoughts, the ideas, and the purpose, and the end intent that he has for our lives. And I want us to always remember that when we keep God first, everything will work out in our favor. Well, with that being said, again, it's an honor. Thank you, Lizette for allowing me to be a part of what God is using you to do in so many people's lives. You have helped all of us, you continue to help us, and I just decree and declare God's speed, God's strength to you and to your wonderful husband and family. And with that said, let us pray as we prepare to enjoy this partay. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this new day of life that you've given us through your son, Jesus. We are so honored and privilege that you've given us the ability and the mind to even want to take care of our physical house. Now, Lord God, I thank you for Lizette. We thank you for her husband and their family. And we thank you for all the sacrifices um, that she has given out to see other people become healthy and become strong, both mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. So we thank you for this day. And we thank you that the steps of the righteous have been ordered of you. Now we decree and declare that we will all be safe today. We will all be blessed as we partake. We do it in your name. And you said that when we consider you, you will consider us and you will lead us. Thank you for leading everyone today and keeping everyone safe and covered in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Well, have fun, fun, fun. Again, Lizette, I'm always honored. Thank God for our relationship. Thank God that we have people like you in the earth who really care. You don't just teach us how to take care of our bodies, but you care about us. Love you all. Enjoy. Mwah. Be blessed. I'm so glad to be here. I am excited. This information is critical. I congratulate you on being here today. We have got some great things for you. Thank you, Lizette, for inviting me. I am so glad to be a part of the party. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> it's so good to be here. So um, I am a pediatrician and my heart is all about wellness and like taking care of yourself. And you're going to hear me say this over and over again. But when I'm talking about wellness, I am not just talking about being big, excuse me, but also talking about being mentally well, socially well and spiritually well. You know, each of us was um, created for a unique purpose. You have a purpose. I have a purpose. But in order to accomplish that purpose, we have to be healthy, right? So, you know, what is healthy? You know, I
disease. It's important to know that, yep, yep, you don't have this or you don't have that. Yep, that is a part of being healthy. But as I just said, being physically healthy is only a part of it. We have to take care of our mental health, our social health, our spiritual health, so that we can be completely well and accomplish the purposes that God has for us. I don't, I don't know about you, but I would say this past year, we have been so tested in all areas of our well-being, and it's just been critical that we address those areas as we kind of go through this pandemic and beyond this pandemic so we can not only flourish, but we can become all that God has called us to be. If you think about our physical health, if you had not um, had good physical health prior to COVID, you were more susceptible to infection, more acceptable, susceptible to illness, sickness, hospitalizations, and even possibly death. Our mental and our social health um, has been challenged as well because we've been isolated. We haven't been able to interact with our community and our spiritual health has been affected when has there been a time where you couldn't go to church or you couldn't interact with those people who encourage you and give you peace and you know support you as you go through? You definitely had to effort to keep these areas healthy and well over the past year. So how did you do? Did you pass the test? Did you keep yourself well over this past year? Well, I hope I'm, I'm coming here today. I just want to encourage you. If maybe you had some areas that you were challenging, most of us have, that this is the time to just sit down, take a deep breath and get well. Let's get well. This pandemic will not be with us forever. I declare that, that we will be done with this pandemic and we're going to go on. But even in the midst of the pandemic, God has given us the authority and the power to still be well and to still do all the things that he's called us to do. So let's take a look at this, you know. Um, the thing is, oftentimes, I know even prior to this pandemic, I even took my health for granted. But we have to consider our health as essential. And remember, it's not just like a destination, but it, it is a journey. And it comes as with decisions that you make every day, healthy decisions that you make every day. Day by day, that's how you accomplish your health and become well, by making choices day after day. And remember, it's not even just about you. It's about your children. It's about your spouse. It's about your family, your extended family. It's about your community. When you choose to be healthy, you change the culture of your house. That's how I like to explain it. Your choice to be healthy, your choice to live a healthy example for your children, you become a role model and the culture of your house changes. This is not something that just happens overnight often, but over time, those gradual changes, more fruits and vegetables, getting rid of the junk, choosing to exercise, turning that screen time off, all those things make a difference and you change the culture of your home. You are a change agent. You have the ability to make things different in your home, in your community by living the life that God has called you to live and to be well. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna just talk today just about those various components. Physical, remember, mental, social and spiritual. So let's get started, okay? All right, so I don't know about you, but I know that in this past year, I have gained some extra pounds. That's most, we call it like the COVID-15, whatever you wanna call it. People have gained weight over the past year. You know, we haven't been moving. We've been stuck inside our home because of fear or concerns about the disease. We haven't been able to go to our gyms if you were a person who went to the gym. So everything has really changed. So we have to effort ourselves to make those changes. So let's take a look here. So first, if we start with exercise, with exercise, we are to be exercising most days of the week, most days of the week. So that's seven days. If you can exercise five or six days out of the week, that is significant. But let's say you're not exercising anything, any days of the week. What can you do? You can start with just a couple days a week. I think another important thing is people think, oh, I can't do this. I can't run. I can't do sit-ups. I can't. But remember, exercise is moving your body. And it's also moving your body to the point that you might be sweating a little bit. So do you like to dance? <laughs> that's a good way to exercise. Do you like to hula hoop? Maybe that's you. You can do that. Do you like to garden? There are so many different ways that you can exercise. Now is the time to sit down and pick two of those three of those activities and grab hold of them and start getting busy. 
If you can't think of anything, Google. We have those computers. We can get on those computers, go on the internet, find some exercises and do it with people on the internet. And I encourage you to join with somebody else. Maybe you can't meet with somebody, but you can get on the computer and do Zoom. You can get there and you guys can hold each other accountable. When we have accountability partners. Oftentimes we do so much better than when we're doing it by ourselves. We check each other. Hey, did you get your 30 minutes? Hey, did you get your 20 minutes? Okay, I walked them out today. How did you do? And we kind of encourage you that we are designed to do life together. And this is a great way to do life together. Not only can you exercise together, but it also allows you an opportunity to socially interact as well. So what about our eating habits? Well, we all know we got work to do there. Get the junk out of your cupboards. I'm not saying I don't believe in a life of absolutes. So I always tell my kids, um, you know what? I can't imagine a life without Kit Kat or Oreos or whatever it is. I love those things. So if you have your sweet tooth or you have your salty things, I'm not saying they have to totally go away, but don't keep them in the house. Maybe that's for a special occasion. You go to the movies or maybe it's movie night at home, whatever it is, but you can have that one thing, but don't keep them around. We need to look at our plate and choose to eat healthier. So here's a great example. This is from um, myplate.gov. This is how it should be. Now, typically, think about a picnic plate. I love to use a picnic plate. And even if you're getting started, this is a great way to start. Get a package of picnic plates. Now, normally, what do we keep in the big compartment? Yeah, we keep the ribs, the chicken, the hamburger, all that meat. We pile up on one half of the plate. Then we might have a fruit or vegetable, and then we might have our starch or our grain. Well, let's change our mind because really that's what you're going to have to do in order to be healthy. So here on the myplate.cuff, Half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Why more fruits and vegetables? Well, first of all, they have water in them and they have fiber in them and they um, contain necessary vitamins and nutrients. Those are essential for you. And the more fiber that you include in your diet, the more hearty your food will be and the more you'll be feeling full. So oftentimes, you know, you'll eat a lot of meat, you might have a little bit of grains, a little bit of this, but oftentimes you might be bloated, you don't feel good you need more fruits and vegetables in your diet. So this is a great way to think about it. More fruits and vegetables and you have your grain. Think about your protein being like the palm of your hand. You don't need four and five pieces of whatever it is that you eat in terms of your meat. Reduce your meat down, increase your fruits and vegetables. We know that the leading cause of death in the United States is cancer and heart disease. And some of those are so, both of those are very closely related to what we are putting in our body. Change what you are putting in your body. There is no excuse. We have George Foreman grills, Instapots, we've got air fryers. Bake, broil, and grill are your best friends, okay? So now is the time to change it. If you haven't changed it before, think about experimenting, trying new things. I know I have the air fryer. That's my friend. That's the thing I do. Sometimes when I have a taste for fried food, I'm not a big fried food person, but I put something in the air fryer. I like grill food as well, so I bought an indoor grill. Whatever it is, experiment. Go beyond what you normally do. Even if it's just one meal a week to start off with, that is still success. You are still going in the right direction. So I encourage you to do that. And the other thing, check your portions. Check your portions. I should say we should check our portions. Take a look at this. This is how things have changed over the year. We have what we call portion distortion. <laughs> look at what we normally get. If you look at what we're served today versus what a true serving is, Look at the difference there. This is another area where if you had more fruits and vegetables, you would feel more full. You wouldn't need the half a plate of French fries or the quarter pound or that sort of thing. Even if you have to eat fast food, which we don't um, encourage you to do, if you have it, maybe you just get the hamburger or you just get one thing and then fill up with fruits and vegetables or have a salad. Leave some of those other things, the pop, the sugary stuff, the French fries, the fried food. Leave it there and maybe have that one thing, but pile on the fruits and vegetables. But remember, we have or we are victims of portion distortion. Change your portion. We need to change our portions and what we're eating. Okay, so that's the physical component. Let's talk about the mental health component. Like in our community, we have such a stigma around mental health. You know, oftentimes, you know, people say you pray, you know, you don't need to go see a therapist. You just need to pray more. Well, I am. That is by far my number one thing. And you'll see that in just a few minutes. But there is some serious problems with trauma that we have experienced over the past year and years before and within our community. And we need to get a hold of our mental health, find the peace that we need. 
You have experienced trauma, especially over the past year. You're not going crazy. Take a look at some of these things and tell me or ask yourself, have I experienced some of these changes in my sleep patterns, mood swings, withdraw from my loved ones. I normally want to be with my family, but now I'm withdrawing to myself. Am I excessively fatigued? Do I have pains that are new and different? Have I lost interest in my usual activities? These are all signs of trauma. We have been traumatized this past year. No other time, like we talked about before, have we been called to just drop everything, everything shut down. People being sick, we've lost loved ones, friends, family members. It has been traumatic and you may have experienced trauma. These are some signs of that. So what are you gonna do if you've experienced trauma? You are going to take a look at your mental health and feel better. The next slide. Well, like I said, number one thing is prayer because we know that God is a restorer. We know that he is a healer. We know that he can, he can overcome anything. He is our very present help in times of trouble. He is our anchor. So I always say prayer is first. But I also know just like he's giving us physical doctors, he's given us mental health professionals that can help us. So I encourage you, if you are having problems, if you're experiencing some of those signs of trauma, get some help. There is help out there. We now have telehealth. You don't even have to leave your house. You can log online and talk to somebody there. Or if you feel like going out, you can go out and speak to somebody, but talk to somebody. I can't remember a time in my practice, and this is pediatric, so I take care of babies all the way up until they're about 19 or 20, that I have seen more kids come in with depression and anxiety. We have to model that health for our families. If we're having a problem, get help. If you see your child having a problem or a young person having a problem, don't bury your health. Don't bury your head. Make sure that they get the help that they need. We don't want to see our young people committing suicide or turning to drugs or alcohol or sexual activity to get the, the peace that they need or the peace that they think they're going to get need in these things. We know these things don't provide peace. They are to destroy us. And that's not the life that God would have us to help, have us to have. He wants us to be full of joy. Joy comes from what's on the inside. And he wants us to have peace and happiness and to enjoy ourselves. So you want to get the mental health help that you need. Also, get involved. If you can't go to church, then maybe you join church online and become an active part of that. Get support groups. Maybe a couple of your friends. I know what we do sometimes is we'll do a Zoom on a Friday night and have a girlfriend get together on a Friday night together. So this is a great thing that you can do. So the more social interaction you have, which we're going to talk about in a minute, makes a difference in your mental health. So let's talk about social health. That's a new one. Maybe some of you haven't heard of that before. Social health is how we connect with other people. How are our relationships going? Do we respect other people? Are they respecting us? Do we have healthy bonds, not only with our family members, but with our community? So many times, especially in this case of the pandemic, we've been socially isolated. If you didn't effort, you could easily go days without seeing somebody or talking to somebody. We want to respect our social health and we want to take time to, to nourish our social health as well. We need other people. We are designed to do life together. What is it? Iron sharpens iron, right? So we want to have social health as well. And of course, I can't end this without saying spiritual health. We have been out of church. We haven't been in the church building, but hopefully... Um, some of you have connected online and some of us are getting our back in the church building. Well, if you haven't, this is the time you want to do that. We know that ultimately we can achieve all these other health areas, but if we haven't taken care of our spiritual health, there will be no peace. And the other thing too about our spiritual health, which I mentioned before, is God has a purpose for you. And if you're not plugged into the source, you won't know what that purpose is and you won't be able to fully accomplish it. So plug in, get your quiet time back. It has been so hectic. There's been so much going on. Turn the screen time off. What I have been suggesting to people is, yes, you want to know what's going on in the news. But at the same time, maybe that's just from 8 to 8.30 or maybe 5 to 5.30. Then shut it off because we need to seek peace and we need to hear from the Lord what our calling is, what we're supposed to be doing, how we're to handle the day, how to deal with our family members. I don't know about you, but so many of us, because we've been so closed up in a house, it sometimes has put a strain on some relationships even. We need to take time to minister to our spouses, minister to our family members, and to be ministered to. But the only way we'll know how to properly do that is by plugging into the source, so spiritual health. So all those are so essential. 
And the last thing that I, I wanted to talk, I couldn't go today without talking about the pandemic and the health that we have to have with the pandemic without talking about the vaccine. I know in our community, especially, there are so many myths around, you know, should I get the vaccine or what have you? Well, the vaccine is life changing. And so I take it very seriously as a medical profession. I know you have been through a lot this past year. We have been through a lot this past year and seen a lot. Here is our opportunity to help turn the tide, to change the way things are going. Yes, we can isolate. Yes, we can quarantine. Yes, we can um, eat better and all those things. But the vaccine is also another opportunity to be healthy. Michigan has the fourth highest COVID-19 mortality rate for Black people. And most of us know someone who has passed or has been significantly um, affected by COVID-19. Black people represent 75% of COVID-19 diagnosis by race and nearly 90% of the deaths. The vaccine is our opportunity to change that. With the Pfizer vaccine, you have 95% chance of not getting COVID if you get the Pfizer. With Moderna, the, the number is 94%. So these are opportunities for us to protect ourselves, to protect our family members. Even if you don't do it for yourself, do it for the elderly people, those people with chronic illnesses in your community. I wanna strongly encourage you to consider getting the vaccine. So thank you so much for having me today. You know, I just want to end with, you know, remind you of what the word of God says. You know, the Lord says, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, health, right? Physical, mental, social, spiritual health, even as your soul prospers. God has a plan for your life. Remember, we started with that. He has a purpose for your life. He has something that he needs you to do. And in order to accomplish that, you have to be healthy. You've made the best decision being here today to get this information. And once you get the information today, put it into action. Make a change. We have to decide day by day to live healthier, to choose life and have life more abundantly, just as God designed for us to do. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day and enjoy the information you're going to get today. It's so glad being with you. So good I was able to be with you. Take care. Okay, welcome to the Exercise Health and Wellness Education Party. <laughs> We're here at the Light Center. It's our 10th anniversary, so it's really a party for us. But I'm going to tell you. Okay, we're going to move around a little bit. It's a little bit of dance moves. Then go and get your weights. Or you can do it without weights at all. Deanna's going to demonstrate without weights. You get three pound weights, two pound weights, eight pound weights. If you're strong, get your 20 pound weights. We're going to have a good time. Let's march it out. Come on. Hey, hey, come on now. <laughs> I got my friends and my family with me here. <laughs> Four more. Come on, march it. Three more. Good. Two more. Good. We're going to walk it forward. Here we go. Walk it for it, take it back. Hold. Yes, come on. Yes, come on. Looking good. Everybody in Detroit know this move. <laughs> good. Two more. <laughs> good. You're going to take it to the right. Here we go. With the arms up in the air. Come on. Reach them all the way up. Stay right here for four. Four, three, two. Great, mine. Come on. Hey. Stay right here for four. Four, three, two. Great mind. Come on, we're gonna do it two more times. And y'all gonna count it with me. Here we go. Come on. Four. Come on. Hey. Come on. Great mind. Yes, come on. Stay right here. Four. Yes. Looking good. Good. Walk it forward. Ho. Yes. Take it back. Good. Forward. Good. Take it back. Two more. Come on. Hey. <laughs> good. Come on. Good. Leg curl. Stay right here. Leg curl. Looking good. Good. Five. Six. Good. Knee up. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Doing good. Four. Three. Good. Leg curl. Come on. In. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Good. We're going to knee up to the side. Knee up. And tap back. Hey. Come on. Looking good. Y'all working it out. You can't be sick. There's no party like a healthy party, baby. <laughs> good. Other side, work it. Come on. Knee up. Seven. Seven. Y'all count it out. Come on. Looking good. Come on. 
Five. Work it, come. Four. Yes. Three. Great. Two. Looking good. Walking forward. Here we go. Yes. Good. Again. Take it to the side. Come on. We're going to start a little combination now. <laughs> up, up, down, down. Here we go. Up, up, down, down. Jazz cross for two. Oh. Front back false turn. Here we go. Front back false turn. Front back false turn. Step out. Right and left. Stay right here. Four more. Okay, we're going to do it again. Give me another chance. <laughs> up, up, down, down. Right side. Here we go. Oh, down, down. Jazz cross for two. Ho, ho, ho. Strong back, false turn. Here we go. Ho. Yes, come. Step out. Right and left. Stay right here. Now we're going to do two on the other side. We're warming it up. We're getting ready. Five, <laughs> six. Left side. Here we go. Reach it. Now we're dancing it. You know it. Step, cross, jazz, cross. Yes. Strong back, false turn. Here we go. Hey, hey, step out, looking good, one more time, here we go, four more, yes, three more, yes, two more, up, up, down, down, left side, here we go, come, up, up, down, down, just cross for two, ho, yes, come on, front, back, false turn, here we go, yes, come on, step out, good, left and right, here we go, Four more, yes. Three more, great. Two more, awesome. Good, we get ready to stretch now. Reach, 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 reach. Come on, you gotta stretch. Even if you can't get all the work, all the moves, do as many as you can, okay? And then just march in place across the body. Here we go. Yes, looking good. So roll your shoulders back. Here we go. Eight. Yes. Seven. That feels good. Six. Five. Four. Yes. Thank you, Deanna. <laughs> roll them forward. Here we go. Yes. Six. Come on. Looking good. Good. Arms out to both sides. Heels in line with your hips. Bend your knees. Hands on the top of your quads. Good. Right shoulder for four. Here we go. Four. Yes. Two. Other side. Come on. Three. Again, come on. Other side. Good, roll up. Feet are parallel, arms are out to both sides. Flat back. Ha. Ah, that feels good. We're stretching out our hamstrings right now, y'all. All the way down, touch your toes. This includes your lower back and your hamstrings. Good. Flat back again, right here. Four, three, two with your left hand. Grab your right ankle, head over your knee. Hold it right there. Four, three, two. Good other side. Ah, yes. I'm looking up to see if you're doing it with us. All over the world. This is the internet, baby. All over the world. <laughs> Come on over to the center. Roll up. Very good. Awesome. Y'all ready to work it out? Come on now, I'm going to need y'all to count it out for me. Come on now. Yes. <laughs> Looking good. We're going to do some kicks. Start with your feet parallel, right up under your hips. And I'm showing you on a diagonal, but you guys are going to be, yeah, kind of go everybody on the diagonal. Okay, we're going to kick and we're going to lunge all the way out. Kick and you're going to lunge all the way out. Now, if you have issues where you can't get all the way down, you can kick and just go back. Kick and just go back. Okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Ten, nine. Take your time. Eight. Yes, come on. Six, five, four more. Looking good. Very good. Other side. Five, y'all ready for that? That was good, four, three, two, one. Here we go, come on, 10. Y'all count it out. You're at home, count it out. You gotta get to 10. 
<laughs> yes. Looking good, Maurice. Looking good, Deanna. Looking good. Awesome. Very good. All right, so we're ready for the plie bicep curls. Y'all ready? You got to get your weights. Okay, you can do it with no weights at all. Follow Deanna. We're doing heel, heels in line with your hip. Plie bicep curl. Working your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your butt, your core, and your biceps at the same time. I love this. It's a basic exercise. Okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. One, we're going to 20, y'all. We only doing one set. Come on. Thank you, Deanna. Come on, y'all. Y'all follow me. Slow it down. Yes. Come on. Looking good. Looking great. Feels good. Come on. Getting strong, y'all. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in health. Come on. Looking good, y'all. Twenty. Very good. Feet parallel. We're going to work. Our, we're going to do side bends and think hourglass. We're working the waistline. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're going to 23, 4, 5, looking great, work it, work it, yes, good, 12, let me look at y'all, go Light Center, go Carl, go Leah, go LaDonna, <laughs> very good okay so we're gonna go to another exercise okay your weights right here right in front of you okay feet up parallel you're gonna squat and go into a backwards lunge that way we're working the quadriceps hamstrings again but in another direction and your glutes okay so here we go squat backwards lunge squat backwards lunge okay now if you're someone that's more advanced you want to do three sets of these and maybe 20 repetitions. If you're less advanced, you might want to do only five repetitions or two repetitions. But there's another way to do it too. Squat and kick back. Squat and kick back. Deanna will demonstrate that. Yes, my Deanna. She will demonstrate that. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? We're going to count loud. We're going to make it happen. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and backwards lunge. Two. Yes, work that little butt. Come on. Three. Take your time. Come on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome. Yay, that feels good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so you're going to get your light weights. Like no weight at all, or two pounds, three pounds. We're getting ready to do shoulder kick out okay the movement is like this okay so I'm gonna get my three pounds actually I'm gonna keep my eight pounds because I'm a little stronger than that <laughs> okay you're gonna kick out the left leg and shoulders only as high as your shoulder five four three two one let's go two three four thank you Deanna come on Six. We're going to 10, come on. Oh, good, other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You're doing it, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Very good, awesome. Let's do some side bends again. Get that waistline again. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One. Thank you, Deanna. <laughs> Looking great. Looking good. All right. Let's do our basic. 
A basic burpees. <laughs> okay, that's right. <laughs> Deanna said, yay. Okay, come on. Here we go. <laughs> Hands, they, they, they're not sure about this one, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're going to show it to the side. Hands up under your shoulders. You're going to go into a plank, okay? Right, left, come up, and back down. Get into your plank again. Left, right, come up, and back down. Or you can do it like this. Together wide and up, together wide, and up, or oh, the third time, together wide, and jump, okay? I'm gonna do it without my hat before I lose it. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go, five. Let's do it to the sideways, y'all. Plank. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three. We're going to do 10 good ones. Five, four, and three, two, one, 10. Boom. Together wide, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, yes, five, yes, keep it going, four more, three more, <laughs> two more, boom, last one, awesome, <laughs> very good, okay, let's do a little bit of rowing, go into a lunge, Got to get some back. Okay, we're doing one step of everything. You're going to row. Five, four, get into your lunge. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's row. Good. Love on top, baby. Come on. Come on. What number are we at, y'all? 12, 13. Work it. Yes, looking good. Good, other side, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, row. Looking great. We're getting that back. Looking great. Go, Maurice. Come on. Very good. All right. All right. So we're going to get our mats out. We just finished doing the back. We just finished working out the shoulders. We worked out our biceps. So now we're going to do push-ups. We're going to work out the chest and triceps, okay? And I know some of you say, eh, I've never done push-ups, never could do push-ups. But if you do them properly, you can, okay? All right. Okay, so here we go. Hands a little wider than your shoulders. I'll show it from the front on a diagonal. Hands a little wider than your shoulders. Knees down. Show it from the side. Knees down. Your feet are relaxed. Bring your, bend your elbows and bring your, hand, your chest right into your hands. I mean, chest right in between your arms. Down and up. Okay? Or either stretch out your foot, your feet. Your legs, rather. Check your toes up under. Down and up. Okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Come on, we're going to 20. If you got 20, if you only got five or 10, do five or 10. If you don't have any, then you can do flies. <laughs> looking good. Bend those elbows, y'all, looking good. All right, sit back on your heels and you're stretching out your arms at the same time. Awesome. Now we're going to do some abs. You're going to lay down. We're almost there. We're almost up to our 20 minutes, okay? All right, bend your knees. Flex your feet. Arms are out in front. You're going to roll back. Come up and get the right foot. Roll back. Come up. Right and left, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Roll back. And up, boom, roll back, and up, two, you got a twist, three, yes, yes, come on, looking great, you're looking good, you're looking good in there, <laughs> I see you working out, I see you, <laughs> Ten. We're going to 20. Keep it going. 
<laughs> you do as many as you can do. You're going to do 20, do 20. You can only do one or two, do that. Okay. Two more. One. Every woman and man from the south. Very good. Awesome. Lay down knees in your chest, squeeze your tight. Whenever you stretch, you want to make sure that you stretch out your lower back as well, okay? All right, very good. All right, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do uh, uh, mountain climbers, okay? All right, here we go. Get into a plank. We're gonna tap, 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 okay? Or either go fast, and, we, and I want you to go fast. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. We're going to 40, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 more, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 more, 4 more, 3 more, 2 more, last one. Ho! <laughs> Sit back on your heels. We are stretching. We can hear breathe now. Lay on your back. You did good. You did good. This is the first workout. You got many more great workouts to go. Okay? You got Patty Dukes coming up. All that. We're going straight into breathe. Lay down, knees into your chest. Squeeze them tight. Good. Both feet flat. Push your hips up for 10. Hold it right there. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Right knee into your chest. Grab your ankle to your calf. Extend the leg over your head. Circle the foot. Opposite way around. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your leg a little closer. Good. Knee in, change legs. Grab your ankle or your calf, extend the leg over your head, circle the foot. Opposite way around. Breathe in, breathe out, bring your leg a little closer. Very good. Both feet flat, cross the right leg over the left, grab your left thigh. Even if you didn't work out with a stretch with us, everybody needs to stretch every day. Good, other side. Stretch. Good, both feet flat, arms are out to both sides, let your legs fall to the left, look to your right. Other side. Very good, come back to center, sit up slowly. Right leg in front, other leg to the side. Both arms are up, head over your knee. Stretching out the hamstrings, the lower back, your spine. Yes. Feeling good, looking good. <laughs> Breathe in and up. Other side. Both arms are up. Get over your knee. Very good. All right. Okay, so we got the last thing that we're going to do. We're going to get on your stomach. Chest up, legs up, and we're gonna swim. Stretching out, strengthening the lower back, okay? Hands up under your chin, starting out. Chest up, legs up, here we go, 10. All the way, arms all the way to your side. Nine, eight, higher, seven. Chest up higher, six, five more. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, very good. Sit back on your heels. Arms are out in front. Hands up under your shoulders. We're gonna go into a downward facing dog. Knees up under your hips. Tuck your toes up under. Go into a downward facing dog. Hold it right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands back to your feet and roll up. Very good. Breathe in and up. And out and down. Breathe in and up. And out and down. One more time. 
Yes, yeah, so that was your last, that was your first workout with the exercise the other one is education parte. You're gonna have great speakers moving forward, great workouts moving forward. Stay tuned with us, have fun. I'll talk to you later.